Go you know if Pierce and Valorant currently suck, then this video is perfect for you. We will boost any low NPC to a beast by adjusting your Windows settings, Nvidia control panel, Valorant settings, and I even made a special batch file which disables any useless services. Make sure to follow each step for the best performance possible. Subscribe for weekly Valorant guides and check out frozentricks.com to boost your FPS in Valorant and get zero input delay. Now let's get straight into it. Alright, let's start with adjusting our Windows settings, but before we will actually do any changes to our system, I would recommend everybody to do a system restore point so if you experience any issues after applying these changes you can always restore your system with this restore point so if you never heard of it you can just do this by searching for restore point we're gonna open this up all you have to do is you're gonna hit the create button if this create button is grayed out right now you can just click on configure and turn on system protection apply the changes hit ok and once you've enabled the system protection you can hit the create button right here you can call this restore point whatever you want in my case i'm gonna call it fps boost we're gonna hit the create button and now it's gonna create the restore point this is actually still in the system properties it's in the advanced tab right here once you're in the advanced tab we're going to click on settings at the performance tab right here and currently it's set to let windows choose what's best for my computer but we don't want this we want the best performance possible so we set this to adjust for best performance and as you can see it basically disabled all these tabs but we still want some animations so i'm going to enable peak show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts and smooth scrollless boxes once you've enabled all of these we can hit the apply button and we're done in the system properties the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the monitor settings and for this we simply right click on your desktop go to display settings it shows all of your monitors select your main screen where you play valorant on scroll down until you see graphics then we can see a list of apps which we currently installed in my case valorant is actually not added yet perfect since if that's the case for you you can just hit the browse button right here and now we will navigate to where valorant is installed so in my case it's on my c drive right games Valorant live and as you can see right here valorant.executable we're gonna double click on this and once you've added this or see it in the list we can click on options and as you can see right here graphics preference is currently decided by windows as well but we want the highest performance possible so our gpu so you select this hit the save button and you're good to go another thing we will directly adjust here in the graphics settings is the default graphics settings so you click on this and we want to make sure that the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is enabled the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our notification settings just search up notifications disables right here since we don't even want to listen to any app which would like to send notifications to our device while we're playing so the next thing we'll change is our power plan and usually we will do this also via the system settings right here the power plan but for some reason if i click on it my settings just crash and if that's the case for you i don't know if it's a windows 11 bug you can just open up a cmd as administrator and then type power cfg slash list to list all of the power scheme guids and once you've got the highest performance possible on some devices it also has an ultra high performance power plan you're just gonna copy this guid and then we will just do power cfg slash set active and the guid we just copied and then just changed our power plan now we're almost done with the windows settings but one thing i would remind everybody about is windows updates and i actually recommend everybody to just check each week once at least just make sure you're up to date most of the time and you're not missing like huge updates like this one another thing which is basically just like windows update is the storage on your system i really recommend everybody to have at least 100 gigs on your device free especially on the c drive or the drive where valorant is actually installed you can just check this here in the system storage tab and especially the temp files as you can see right now it's 160 gigabytes just temporary file if we click on it we can also see what's causing this check for windows updates and clear your temp files so i actually do this i will clean up the files here accept the download continue and once you did this we can head over to the gaming tab right here to check another two things the first thing is the game bar right here we want to make sure that this is turned off since it's just another user's clipping tool you don't need the game bar the other thing is the game mode right here and make sure this is turned on especially with windows 11 this boosts a lot of performance on your device so make sure you enable this game mode the last thing we will do before we move on to the nvidia control panel is actually checking our windows services and you can do this by clicking windows r type in ms config and once you've done this we can hit ok you will see the system configuration right here head over to the services tab and in here you can see all of these services and all of these are either running or stopped but in general these services all exist on your device and there are a lot of useless windows services especially and that's why i made a special tool which you can already see on my desktop right here frozen tweaks free uh, if you forgot the battery you can also check what's inside or what it's actually doing by show more options edit here you can see everything what it does so basically it just disables all these unnecessary processes rec edit stuff and you can check everything it's completely safe you also got your restore point so if everything doesn't work after doing this you can just restore whenever you want open this up as administrator confirm it and it's going to say frozen tweaks free version by frost 
Trust Changer starts after 2 seconds, the system tweaks applied successfully, and it should restart your system after 10 seconds, which isn't the case for me as I just mentioned, and saves you a lot of time. Instead of searching for all these services, we're going to continue with adjusting our NVIDIA control panel, when we're going to do this by right clicking on your desktop, show more options, NVIDIA control panel right here. We're going to adjust your image settings with preview. As you can see right now, by default, it's set to let the 3D application decide. We don't want this. We want to use my preference emphasizing. And as you can see, it's also set to quality, but we don't want this. We want performance, the best performance possible. So we change this, apply the changes, go to manage 3D settings, go to open GI rendering GPU. And this is currently set to auto select. I want to use always my GPU. So I changed this. Once again, the power management mode should be set to prefer maximum performance. The preferred refresh rate should be set to highest available. The texture filtering should be set to high performance. Vertical sync should be off as long as virtual reality pre-rendered frames should be set to one. Then we'll just scroll through this. And once you've made these changes, don't forget to apply them again right here. And now we're basically done with the NVIDIA control panel. The last thing I recommend everybody to check is the change resolution tab right here so that you actually got the refresh rate you want. And now we're also done with the NVIDIA control panel. But before we launch our game, I want you to hit again Windows R and this time we're going to open up the local app data folder. Scroll down till you see Valorant or press V on your keyboard. Open up the Valorant folder, save config. And once you're in here, you can see a bunch of folders. It might vary depending on how many accounts you've actually played on your device with. This is like the account UID. Each account got a unique ID. So if you don't know which is your account, don't worry. You can simply find out which is your main account or the account you most recently played on by filtering for a date modified right here. So in my case, this is the account I recently played on. So make sure you recently played on your main account and open up this folder windows we're going to open up the game user settings.ini file this is going to show you all of your game user settings so we're going to scroll down all the way so we see scalability groups and we want to set all these settings except the resolution quality to zero once we've set all these values to zero we can hit ctrl s to save these changes close this again and we can finally launch Valorant. once we're in the lobby we will head over to the settings of the game right here in the general tab i want you to make sure that the raw input buffer is set to on since this is going to decrease the input delay by a lot head over to the video tab again for less input delay and better performance pretty important to set your game to full screen i just set this to windowed full screen for this video because i got a different monitor and it's going to break the youtube 16 to 9 resolution before we move on to the graphics quality set the nvidia reflex low latency always to un plus boost except if you got a really really old nvidia gpu but in most cases it's probably best for you to set this to on plus boost. And moving on to the graphics quality tab, you can pretty much set everything to low or off, except the multi-threaded rendering. This is gonna stay on, and the anti-aliasing could be set to MSAA four times, and the anisotropic filtering should also be set to four times. This could also vary from device to device. You can also just hop in a range match and check this out. But in my case, these were the best settings. And with this, we are done. Congratulations, you've successfully adjusted your system for the best performance possible. Make sure to comment down below how many FPS you got after doing these changes subscribe for weekly valorant guides otherwise i wish everybody a great day and i'm gonna see you in the next one